Hi, my name is Tahira and I'm a professional oriental dancer based in Poland. And this is Tahira Belly Dance Diary, where I invite you to dive with me into the world of oriental dance and all its complexities. Let's begin! Today, I would like to talk about a bit complicated but very interesting topic. This topic is makam. Makam is a notion connected with Arabic music and even if you're not familiar with it, it impacts your dance a lot. So instead of being in the dark, watch this episode of Tahira Belly Dance Diary because I intend to shed some light on the makam topic. Let's go! I've already mentioned the word makam in the episode about the basic instruments in the Arabic ensemble. Link to this episode is somewhere here, so just click it, go there and check out how it works in reference to instruments. However, for the purpose of this episode, let's go through with the basic definition of makam. Makam is a system of scales and possible modulations and ornamentations that together work as a rich melodic framework and artistic tradition. To be more aware of what we are dealing with, we can compare those scales to the Western traditional major and minor scales, which go like this. It's not exactly the same concept, but it's quite close and for us, the people of the Western world, it's a good starting point to comprehend the idea of makam. Makam is what makes the Arabic music the way it is. All the characteristic sequences of notes passages, the sounds we love so much, the emotions we feel during listening to this music, and finally, the state of tarab. For all of this, we should say a big thank you to Makam. I'm not saying that every dancer should know all the Makams by heart and be able to distinguish them in music, but it's always a good idea to be a more conscious artist and to know a little bit more about everything that is connected to oriental dance, even if such knowledge is not of daily use. Therefore, let's dive in deeper. Before we go all technical, I just want to mention that in this episode, I will be using the modern standard Arabic pronunciation in order not to get lost in all the official music terms. So, when we want to address the topic of makam, we should start with jeans. Jeans is a short sequence of notes and a basic unit in Arabic music. Makam consists of a couple of ajnas, which is plural for jeans. So technically, makam is a set of notes which can be divided into separate ajnas. Here are some popular ajnas. Jeans Mustar, Jeans Sikha, Jeans Bayati, Jeans Hijaz, Jeans Hijaz Murasa, Jeans Kurd, Jeans Lami, Jeans Upper Ajam, Jeans Upper Rast, Jeans Ajam, Jeans Ajam Murasa, Jeans Athar Kurd, Jeans Jiharka, Jeans Nahawand, Jeans Nikris, 
जीन्स रास्त जीन्स सास्कर जीन्स हिजास्कर जीन्स मुखालिफ शार्की जीन्स नाहावंत मुरास्सा जीन्स सबा जीन्स सबा दलानशीन जीन्स सबा जमजम जीन्स सिखा बलादी According to tradition, Makhamat, which is plural for Makham, are classified into families based on sharing the same first genes. This first genes is what gives the whole Makham its specific mood. Different teachers and theorists group Makhamat differently, but most of them agree on between 7 to 10 families of Makham. It is said that there are dozens of various makamat, but not all of them are so popular or widely used in Arabic music. I think that most of you, exactly like me, are no musicians, but I hope that by far the basic concept of makam is clear. To make it even more understandable, let's take a closer look at one of the makam families. The Ajam family consists of three makamat. Makam Ajam, Makam Ajam Usheiran, and Makam Shauk Abza. Makam Ajam is very similar to the Western major scale and it brings on the feeling of happiness, pride and strength. Makam Ajam goes like this. We can find Makam Ajam, for example, in one of the popular Egyptian songs, Fiyom Waleila. Makam Ajam Usheiran is an archaic version of Makam Ajam and now it's not so widely used. However, it's still a valid Makam and you can play in it a taxim. Makam Shauk Abza is the most common variant of Makam Ajam. We can find it in another popular Egyptian song, Le Fakir. <laughs> You can also check out this beautiful violin taksim in Makam Shauk Avza.
I'm aware that it's a lot to take in. However, trying to understand the basic concept is still so much easier than learning to actually play Makamat using modulations traveling freely from one mood to another. I believe that now you are closer to understand the emotional magic behind the Arabic music, which is connected with Makam. I would love to continue this topic in next episodes, but for now it will be all. If you like this episode, give me a thumb up and hit that subscribe button. Also click the little bell next to it to be notified about all new content on my YouTube channel, including, of course, new episodes of Tahira Belly Dance Diary. I encourage you also to follow my social media accounts, my Instagram and Facebook account, where I post a lot of things connected with my daily oriental dance life. All the links you will have in the description box below this video. Let's meet here next Wednesday for the next new episode of Tahira Belly Dance Diary. See you! Makamat, which is plural. Plulu. Makamat, which is plural. Plulu. Plulululu. Makamat, which is plural. Yo, Walela.